And welcome everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for some mono green elves in Historic. That's right, we got our next Historic deck up. We're going to be playing an, an Elf Ball type deck here where we're going to be getting lots and lots of mana. Uh, you know, we have Lanor Elf, Druid of the Cowl, Paradise Druid, all of those add mana. We have Marwyn the Nurturer, also our, our biggest mana creature. Um, that each time we play an elf, it gets a counter on it, then we can add a mana equal to its power. So lots of ways to add mana. We have the once upon a times to make sure we can get our mana creatures out there. And then what we do with a lot of mana is we have, of course, just elvish visionaries, just to play, draw a card. You know, like they just cycle for our two mana there. We have um, other ways to make our creatures really big with elvish clan caller and imperious perfect. Um, so those are our, our two lords. We have we have eight lords in here to make our creatures bigger. And then plus we have a couple of Vanquishers banner that give all of our elves plus one plus one as well. But then whenever we cast a creature sp spell of the chosen types, obviously it's going to be elf. So every time we cast an elf, we draw a card with Vanquishers banner or we draw a card whenever we have Beast Whisperer in play. So we're trying to just ramp into Beast Whisperer and Vanquishers banner and then just play tons of creatures. And each creature draws us a card and so on and just kind of get just a ton of creatures in play. And then we use the Imperious Perfects and the Elvish Clan Callers that get, make them very large. So then we just have a whole lot of very large creatures. And then hopefully we untap and attack our opponent and kill them. But that doesn't always happen. We don't always get to untap and, it's, and attack. So if we don't get to untap, we have two copies of Samet here. Four mana Planeswalker that gives our creatures haste. So that's, that's what we're going to be doing here is give our creatures haste and... Um, so we play a whole bunch of creatures. We they have haste. They're they're really big because of our lords, and then we just attack them and kill them. That's the plan here. Um, we can have uh, giving mana creatures haste is pretty nice too, because like Landwar Elf costs like zero mana to to play, right? Like you just pay one mana for Landwar Elf, but then you can tap it right away for mana because it has haste. Um, Marwyn could just add mana like whenever it has haste if you have other lord effects that make its power bigger you know if you have stuff like vanquisher's banner and, and these things in play and so yeah we're just going to try to cycle through our whole deck we have the castle uh garen briggs that can even add extra mana to cast more creatures obviously the once upon a time helps find more creatures and everything um you know elvish visionary can draw multiple cards if you know we got these things in play so that's what our deck's all about it's not really about interacting with the opponent at all we're just trying to do our thing, just trying to slam our elves uh, out there and go crazy. So let's let's see how it does. Um, we're going to be playing it. We're just doing best of one. We don't even have a sideboard. Uh, we're just going to be trying this in best of one here. Uh, just trying to go crazy and everything. Oh yeah, plus we have a Fauna Shaman out there. Uh, two mana elf where we can discard a creature, search our library for a creature, and put it into our hand. So we can we can uh, basically turn any creature in our hand into any other creature in our library. So like, do we need to go find a Beast Whisperer? We can do that. Do we need to go find like just an Elvish Visionary to get to get some extra cards? Do we need to go grab a Marwyn? Whatever we need, we got. All right, so I'm going to go turn two Paradise Druid. I'm not going to play the Land War Elf, though, also. So then turn three, we have five mana, and we can go Beast Whisperer. Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Change. Change of plans. Marwyn. Always want to get Marwyn out. A-S-A-P. Dang. All right, well... Um, I could just play this and hope to untap. That doesn't seem like the best plan against an Esper control deck. <clears throat> yeah, we're, we're not going to be good against board wipes. And we're not good against Thought Erasure here. Don't Thought Erasure. That's fine. Whatever. All right. Hopefully we draw a land. Not land. Hmm. Well, basically, I want to get value out of the Beast Whisperer before just playing it. Oh, come on. I 
So yeah, removal spell, removal spell, sweeper. That's gonna, that's gonna be good against us. Do they play anything besides removal? It's just so much removal. What can we do against such hatred? If you show remorse, I'll show the strength. There goes nothing. Yeah, this is not a good matchup. <laughs> so much for being a friend. This might be a bad idea. Darn. If you still have a home, you should go there now. Yeah, yep, if you're on the yep, if you're watching on your computer, yeah, you can check everything. You can check the graveyards and stuff like that. Yeah, performance has been better with the new patch, but not not like a ton better though. Boo. Well, Kai's Wrath was going to be a hard card for us to beat. The second one was really tough. The third one was just insulting. Okay, we're still in it. We just got to draw a ton of creatures now. Or lands. Sure. I think wasn't doing anything anyway. Vanquisher's banner is pretty big. True heretics will feel the bite of my blades. I mean, it's big if we draw elves, that is. Elvish Visionary is our best draw. Oh baby. I was just talking about you, Elvish Visionary. Let's go. That's divination. Draw some more cards. Darn. Scry one. Not go unpunished. Oh, that's a bad draw for me. I get some lot of cards. All right, here we go. Let's fill back up. Okay. That's good. Hopefully put a bunch of lands to the bottom. Get like one creature and four lands. All right, close enough. You cannot hold back. You cannot hold down the elves. Look at these vis visionaries. They're so good. You can't hold us back. All right, they're not going to have another Wrath, right? They've already played three Kaya's Wraths. They probably don't have a, a fourth Kaya's Wrath. Oh, come on. 
Boo. I know, we need that salmon again. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, so I want to find Beast Whisperer. That's what I was looking for with that... Um, with that Once Upon a Time. I was looking for Beast Whisperer. That's why I did that first. Okay, there's Beast Whisperer, but now if I play it... Huh. Okay, so we'll just stop there. I'm not going to play the Clan Caller. We'll do that next turn. We'll go, you know, Beast Whisperer plus Clan Caller and draw extra cards. What? Not another Sweeper? Where are we at? We're at 21 cards in Library? Can we kill our opponent? Wait, did I already play my land? Wow, what a jerk. Oh, that's bad. I did already play my land. Alright, we'll just stack. Oh, settle, settle the settle the elfage. Oh, I forgot about settle the elfage. Right on schedule. We gotta worry about that one. Keep up the pace. You can't hold the elves back. You can draw all your Kaya's wraths. But you can't hold us back. You can't hold us back. <laughs> we survived four rats. Oh, that was good. Yeah, this is historic. All right, we'll keep it. So we'll have Paradise Druid into Marwyn. Marwyn? Oh, uh -oh. what are all these? Don't don't play don't play more don't play like Ritual of Suds. No, don't be control. I train and I am just no. the trick this. Yeah, play a duress. I like that. I don't like not being able to draw more than one card a turn. That's cheating. Focused. I guess I could have just played like a, a Lord there and then been able to attack for three to get that thing out of here. More dresses. Rude. <laughs> yeah, Gassy would love this deck. Um, I guess, yes, uh, there's something wrong with some of the basic lands. So, like, if if you're having trouble with your deck in Arena, change your basic lands.
My army will invest. Reduce the battle to shambles. Oh, come on, draw land. Yeah. You can't hold us back, Jack. We will refill. We will reload. Can't hold the elves back. Uh oh. That's gonna take all my elves. No. Yeah, I think icon. Yeah, icon's too slow. I think. Ooh, maybe they hit three lands. They hit land, land, something else. Oh no, the beast whisperer. Oh, they got a clan caller. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Can't hold us back. This banner has been MVP. Oh yeah, I don't know. I guess it was just a bug. It's supposed to be two and zero, but it just didn't. It didn't show up there. Or it's it supposed to say one and zero. Does it? I don't know why it wasn't showing up there. <laughs> we have so many thumbnails so far. Dropbox is starting to ask if I need more space. <laughs> yeah, we get so many thumbnails for YouTube. So many videos. Keep. All right. Turn one land off. No. Do I? I think I'm just gonna grab this extra land with all those lands going down to the bottom. Not a control deck. There we go. So now I can play Banner next turn. Ooh, Phyrexian Arena. I kind of need Marwin in play first, though. But then I won't have any... <sighs> hmm. I'll just play this. Alright, I'll take that. So I could have castled and played both Imperius Perfect and Marwyn there. And then I would have had tons of mana, but then I may not actually have like the you know, the creatures to draw off of with banner. Hypnotic Spectre. Well that card's awesome.
I hope my opponent doesn't make me discard Imperious Perfect or Salmon. Anything else, though. They can make me discard any of the other cards, just not Imperious Perfect or Salmon. Okay. Elf Ball. They didn't have a sweeper. Hawkeye, if they don't play sweepers, they're going to die. That's right, Hawkeye. They're going to die. Yeah, this banner has just been MVP. Yeah, Wildborn Preserver is an elf that, that, uh, oh, oh, you're being sarcastic. So, yeah, Wildborn Preserver has reach and is a mana sink, but we don't really need mana sinks. We, we've been spending all of our mana every turn. Basically, like, we just play so much, so much stuff. Okay, it's such a happy cat. Alright, so this looks like Field of the Dead. We need to start going through our deck. Uh, that's this rude. This fight you can win. I've got it. Hmm... I kind of want to attack the Teferi for one, which we didn't draw a land, so I don't get to play Beast Whisperer also. Still not a land drop. There you go, Rocksweek. Yeah, you can find the Gruul aggro's in there. I should have I should have activated the castle. So if they have time wipe, they don't get to pick it back up now. If I would have activated castle, I could have played visionary and drawn drawn an extra card. Yeah, we're playing goblins after this. We're playing seven seven games. And then we'll play seven games of goblins. All lands. Obviously, we want to find stuff like our banner and Samit and even Marwin to get a lot of mana. We don't want to just draw four lands in a row.
Well, that should be enough to kill us. Escape shift's still good. It's 24. <laughs> no, no sweepers in our mono green elves. Ooh, I like it. Turn two, Marwin. Let's look for. Uh, we have to be on the draw. Why can't we be on the play? Our hand's so good. All right, got the Beast Whisperer. Uh, yeah, there's uh, best of three historics just for like the rest of time. There's no there's no end date on it. It's just it's just a new format like standard now. So they're finally supporting. The ranked historic's going to be all the way until the next set, and then at Whenever the next set releases, they're going to take away r ranked best of three and just, and then you'll have the, um, and then there will be a, uh, th there'll still be like a, the regular constructed event with best of three historic for a little while. Um, cause they want to just focus on standard for a little bit. Okay, we still had six more mana because of Marwin. So we were still going to be going for a while there. That was our turn four. <laughs> that was like our perfect hand, though. But our turn four, um, you know, we already had so much power in play. We we're going to have a ridiculous amount of power in play at the end of that turn. Yeah, change your basic lands, Kaysons. So, yeah, there's, if there's something wrong with your validating the deck, change your basic lands. You wonder what was in there, what our opponent had in hand? Probably just sadness. It's probably what they had in hand was sadness. That was our that was our perfect hand though. What what we just did there. Turn two Marwin. Turn three Beast Whisperer plus Paradise Druid. Like it just doesn't get better than that. And then our turn four. We were not anywhere near done. <laughs> we were about to add eight mana with Marwin when the other elf entered. Let's see if we find our own land war elf. Nope. Um... We just always want to just get as much mana as possible. Ah, uh, the Gruul deck. Oh, they're going to smash us. Gruul smash. Ugh. I don't like it.
Alright, we dead. They could have just attacked with everything and I couldn't really block. Ooh. I thought I was going to have to go double Paradise Druid, but... Um... So I could have two three twos or a three three and a one and a two two. Obviously, I wish I would have just played Marwin first, but I didn't know that we were going to draw a land war off. That was going to be something else we could play with this one mana. Man, if it wasn't for Embercleave, you know, if they just didn't have Embercleave here. We are going to be able to go crazy this next turn on turn five, but Ember Cleave just is busted. I, mean, I can't complain. I obviously just played Gruel Aggro and ran everybody over with that too. A little bit ago. All right, four and two. I went underneath us. Man, opponent always gets to go first. Hands are always so good. Um... Ah. Well, diligent excavator, huh? No! Oh, the Kaya. Ah. Man. Why can't we untap with Marwin? Ah, uh, that hurts. That really hurts. We are we are about to just like empty our hand. So I kind of want to play the the Fauna Shaman to be able to go search for another Marwin. Like discard perfect, get a Marwin. Yeah, I mean that that's that was basically the game. You know, like we're playing against a combo deck that doesn't have too much interaction, but has a little bit. But them having that Othakaya, like that turn. If we would have had one more turn, Marwin was gonna get over the Othakaya limit if we had one more turn. So like they they had to have it then. <laughs> Gonna main deck Veil somewhere at this rate. Keep Marwin alive. Yeah, I mean that that was the game. This is over now.
I know I noticed this somewhere. At least they didn't play. They didn't play Urza's as Ruinous Blast. I can no longer stand by and watch. They got one in the graveyard though to go grab with Tamio. Trust me, I have a plan. It's over. All right, so we went four and three. A couple of those losses, like honestly, two of those losses, two, like our last two losses were solely because we were on the draw. You know, like if we were on the play, we would have won both of those. Because, um, you know, we would have had turn two Marwin on the play. They would not have been able to Othakaya it. And then we would have been able to untap with Marwin and we were going to be uh, going crazy there. Um, and then even the Gruel matchup. The last, you know, when we just played against Gruel, I think if we were on the play, we would have won that too. But they were just a little too fast being on the play themselves. Because um, all we need, we needed just one more turn against that Gruel deck, and we were going to just, um, you know, just throw everything out there. But yeah, this deck was sweet. Uh, Vanquisher's Banner was awesome. Um, I kind of feel like from playing those, I think that we'd want a third banner and just one Salmon. I think the Samet has some real merit to it, even though we didn't do very much with the Samet. But I think we don't really need a second one. I think you just have the one, and that's fine. But Vanquisher's Banner was just amazing. Um, so yeah, get that get that third banner in there. Go down to one Samet. We get to draw through our deck and everything like that, and so that's good. Uh, Elvish, Elvish Visionary was awesome in here. Absolutely loved it. Um, yeah. Yeah, it was awesome. And yeah, so like this, I really liked how this elf deck like played. Like, I honestly don't think you need stuff like, um, you know, Steel Leaf Champion and stuff like that. Like, you just don't need to be a beatdown deck. It's not It's not about that. It's about getting as much mana as possible and, and then draw as many cards and just get as many bodies as possible out there. Worked really well. Once Upon a Time, obviously very good for the deck, too. All right. So that's, uh, that's Mono Green Elves. Um... 4-3, but honestly played really, really well. I like it a lot. Best of one. Um, this is not really the best best of three deck because people will be able to sideboard and bring in all their removal and everything. And, it may, you know, best of three is not going to be as good for this kind of deck. But if you if you want just like a, a fun best of one deck where, um, where, you know, you can just jam a whole lot of games. You know, like these games are fast. Um, jam a lot of games and, and everything like that and not really worry too much about what your opponent's doing. Just just have fun doing your thing. This deck is awesome at that. And not a ton of rares. I mean, I guess, yeah, I guess there's a good amount of rares in here. I was thinking like, okay, well, that's not a rare, not a rare, not a rare, but then, yeah, Clan Caller, Once Upon a Time, Marwin, Imperious. Oh, that's not a rare. That's good. Imperious Perfects and Uncommon. That's good. But then Beast Whisper, Vanquisher's Banner. Like These aren't like... Vanquisher's Banner, Marwin, like if you're using wild, like these, you're not going to use these wild cards or anything else but this deck. But this deck's a lot of fun. And it's it's not too difficult to play. You know, you just, just do everything that maximizes your mana and your card draw every turn. So it's a pretty easy one to play. Don't have to really worry about what your opponent's doing. So pretty good deck for a beginner there also. All right, so that's Mono Green Elves. Yep, time for Goblins. Um, all right, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, hit that like button over there and uh, leave some comments. Let me know what you think about Mono Green Elves. How's it going for you with this deck um, and everything like that? Uh, but yeah, this is a good home for Elvish Visionary. That's a, that's a really wonderful pickup in Historic for this deck. All right, but uh, yeah, Fourth Castle couldn't hurt. Yeah, you, you just, you have to have, you have to have like, you know, your, at least one forest. You, the thing is, you can't have like a hand of like two castles kind of thing, but castle was good for us. Yeah, I, I liked the castle. So yeah, I would I would go with four castles. I think 19 lands, you should be able to find a forest. You know, a turn one forest for the land war elf. You should be good there. Because, you know, you have to have at least one forest before the castles. That shouldn't be too hard, though. 
yeah i like it go fourth castle i like it um all right but yep that's mountain green elf so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video